All right, we're just going to do a very basic exploded view. Um, we usually do this from an isometric view. So up in your different views, I'm already an isometric. So let's say we started a front view right here. That's looking straight on a, what was considered the front view of the first part placed in here, which was my blue part. So this would be the front view of this blue part. That's how they determine it. But that's not the best view to look at. I'm going to go up here to what's isometric, which means it's looking at the front face, the right side face, and the top face with equal importance. Isometric is a nice one to look at because it's usually one of the easiest views to actually understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an exploded view from the isometric. Um, so we're going to click right up here on the top. Uh, it's under assembly, uh, exploded view. So we click on that. Now I can select which part I want to affect first. So I'm going to, I'm going to pick this yellow part. So you see there's nothing selected yet. So I'm going to click the yellow part and then boom, yellow part showed up in here. And I get the option to tweak the different axes on here. They go in the order of the rainbow. So the X, Y, and Z axis go red, green, blue. So just remember, it's the order of the rainbow. So I'm actually going to grab the Y axis. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to pull this guy out some. Just far enough that I can see that, yep, he came out of right there. And then it created that as exploded step number one. All right. Then And it reset in here, so there's nothing in here right now. And if I wanted to be real exact, I could go in and change the dimension that it was, it was pulled out. But we'll just say that's good enough. And then I'm going to go over here and select a new part. So you'll see blue part was selected. And I'm going to grab it on its x-axis. And I'm going to pull it out this way a certain amount. And that was exploded step two. Okay, so for right now, we're not going to get too fancy with the exploded views. What I want you to do is they'll pull apart your five or six different pieces, so you'll have five or six different exploded steps, so that we can see all the pieces, and they're not overlapping, they're not hidden behind, and we can kind of see them all in this isometric view, and if we were to then set that in motion, they would come together, uh, which you will be doing probably by the next project. We'll have you do that. Okay, then once you've got them all spread apart, you can say okay to this, it's going to have, bring back all their original colors and make sure you have a nice uh, isometric view. Take a screenshot of it and add it to your Google Doc. Call me for the grade check.